This video will show you how to use Excel to do a linear regression on data. So the data that we're interested in is given in this in the table. Um, this is data on the median age of the U.S. population in selected years as listed. Now you'll notice that as we go from 1970 to 2011, the median age of all U.S. citizens has been increasing. So what we want to do is we want to take this data, we want to paste it into Excel, and then do a linear regression. So go ahead and select the data and do a copy. Then open up Excel, place your cursor in the A1 cell, right click and do paste. When it pastes it, it pastes it kind of in a strange manner. We're going to go ahead and kind of just spread it out a little bit to make it look better. And then we're going to click on this row here and do an auto fit of row height. So this is the data that we are interested in regressing. You'll look, if you look at this data, you'll notice that the year is given in two different forms. Okay. In this column, in the A column, the year is given sim simply as the year. So we have 1970, 1980, 1990, and so forth. In the B column, the year is given as the number of years since 1970. And this is a convenient way to specify the years. So in this particular problem, we're going to let X be given by these values here, and Y is the median age. To, to do the regression, we have to first plot these points, and then we have to do the regression. So go ahead and select the points that you're interested in regressing. Go up to the top and select Insert. You'll see the scatter as an option. Go ahead and select that. And then we want to pick the first option under Scatter. It says Scatter Only with Markers, so click that. When you do that, you get this picture right here. So all we've done at this point is we've 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 done a if you like a scatter plot of the data that is given in these two columns. This axis here, the x-axis, corresponds to the number of years since 1970. That's a variable x, and the y-axis, which is here, corresponds to the median age of all U.S. citizens. So to do a linear regression means we're attempting to find a line which does a good job of fitting these points. So what we do is we go back to insert and we click on the points. You'll see over here that the layout 3 has a little line there. This will do a regression. So when we click on that it gives us the line of best fit. If you look at this picture you'll notice that it does the regression, but it doesn't give us any information about the regression. If we want information about the regression, go ahead and double click on the regression line. That gives you this particular picture here. See, currently, if you look at this, we're doing a linear regression. But down here, where it says display equation on chart or display R squared value on chart, those are not checked. So those are not showing up on the graph. Let's go ahead and pick those, or if you like, check those, and hit close. When you do that, you'll notice on your graph over here that some information shows up. All right. So it gives you the, the equation of the line of best fit. You see it there. And it gives you the R squared value. The R squared value is a value which tells you how well the uh, linear regression fits these lines. If you look at this, you'll see that the line does a very good job of fitting these points. It almost passes through all the points except for the last one. So from 1970 to 2008, you'll, you, the, the growth in the median age has been linear. And the relationship between the median age x, I'm sorry, between the year since 1970 x 
and the median age y is given by y equals 0 0.2281 times x plus 28.016. To just make this graph look a little bit nicer, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in our labels for our axes. You'll notice that when I type in the labels for my x and y axes, I go ahead and I type it in using a description of what they represent instead of just x and y. So this axis here gives you the years since 1970, and this axis here gives you the median age of the U.S. population. I can paste this into Excel by simply right-clicking, picking Copy, Sorry, I should say, sorry. I can paste this into Word by right clicking, or right clicking and picking copy, and then going to Word and then pasting the graph in by right clicking and picking the paste option. This concludes the video on how to do a linear regression in Excel and then paste that graph into Word.